Hello everybody and welcome to our next lesson in PSHE and today we're going to be looking at dealing with feelings and uh, dealing with sometimes we can be angry and have to deal with our, our feelings when we're angry. So I'm going to share the screen and here we've got the front page so this is what we're going to be looking at today and let's have a look at what we need so first of all if you need to pause the video to get these bits you can do you're going to need a piece of paper or your book and some coloring pencils if you don't have colored pencils that's fine you can just use your normal writing pencil but if you've got some coloring pencils you can go and get them uh, pause the video now and get what you need Okay, let's have a look at what we are going to be covering today. So firstly, we're going to look at how you feel today uh, and different feelings that you could be feeling. Uh, next, we're going to move on to how to deal with anger. And we're going to look specifically at something called the cool down corner. And finally, your job is going to be to design your own cool down corner. We'll move on to that towards the end of the lesson. So first of all, uh, just a quick challenge for you. Uh, you've got six pictures of different children here uh, and they've got different faces on them, different emotions. How do these children feel at the moment? How would you describe how they feel? So if you pause the video now and have a think, how does each of the different children feel? Off you go. Hey, how did you get on? Let's have a look at the next screen. So we start off with a happy face. Oh, then we've got an angry face at the top in the middle there. A worried face, the top right. Someone is excited, bottom left there. Big yawn, tired face. Mr. Antel feels quite, quite like that at the moment with a, a new baby in the house. A very tired face there. And bottom right is a sad face. Somebody doesn't look very happy at all. A sad face. So different feelings, different emotions. So how do you feel today? Do you feel any of these emotions? You might be happy, you might be in a very good mood, or you might be tired if you didn't have a very good night's sleep, or you might be angry about something. And what's important to know here is that it's fine to feel all of these different emotions because we're not going to be happy all of the time. There are some times that we might feel a little bit sad. Sometimes we might be a little bit worried. Sometimes we might be excited, which is good. Sometimes we will be happy. So we will feel all of these emotions at different times. And that is perfectly normal. But the one we're going to focus on today is anger. When you feel angry, because we all feel this emotion at times. And it's how do we show the anger and how can we deal with it? So it's perfectly normal for everybody to feel anger, but we need to be thinking carefully about how we deal with it so that we can get to be feeling uh, much better about things as soon as we can. So what do people do when they are angry? Let's have a look at some pictures. So some people have a bit of a tantrum. Often younger people like toddlers can have a bit of a tantrum and throw things around. Some people can just go into themselves and just ignore people and go very quiet, even though they might be angry underneath. Some people can argue. Some people can just have a, a frown on their face. Others can shout. And some people can just uh, have a bit of a soul, can just put their arms over their face and go very quiet as well. So lots of different ways that people can show that they're angry. So here we've got an anger thermometer. And so near the bottom is when you're starting to just think something's up, something's not right. And so signs of that might be that you sigh loudly or that a little bit of a growling noise for, for, for toddlers or if you're a bit younger. Uh, and things that you can do on the right hand side here is you can maybe get a drink of water or you could squeeze some Play-Doh. Then the medium anger here it starts seeing a loud voice or a stomping foot. And again, things that you can do here to try and uh, 
release some of that anger is you could take some exercise or have some deep breaths. And then we've got the red zone right at the top here. And that's when the anger has really uh, struck home and you are not feeling at all happy. So that could be yelling or throwing things. And what can we do in these situations? Well, we can take a break from whatever it is we're doing. Um, and another thing you could do is shred some paper, but make sure that you ask an adult before you uh, shred any paper. It must be paper that can be shredded. Um, so the most important thing about when we are dealing with anger is that we don't hurt ourselves and we don't hurt anybody else. So it's, as I've said, it's perfectly fine to be angry, but the most important thing is that we don't hurt ourselves or anybody else. And the take a break part there is what we're going to be focusing on a little bit later in the lesson and things that we can do when we are feeling really bad. What can we do to get out of the situation away from it and try and recover? Okay, so we've got an example here of somebody called Bobby who is very angry. Look at that angry face. He is not happy. And he's around his grandma's. And what can grandma do to help? What could she do? So one thing that grandma could do is try and find out why Bobby is angry. So she's going to have to speak to him, isn't she? She's going to have to speak to him. So I've got a little quiz here, little four options. What could grandma do while Bobby talked about his feelings? So I'm going to read out the options. Option one, she could talk over him. Option two, she could laugh at him. Option three, she could listen to him. Option four, she could ignore him. So pause the video now and have a think about those options. What could grandma do while Bobby talked about his feelings? Okay, let's have a look at the next slide to see what grandma could do. Option three, yeah, she could listen to him. So when Bobby's talking about his feelings, it's very important that grandma listens so that she can understand what the problem is. So if you're feeling angry at all, then it's very important that you go and talk to somebody that's going to listen to your feelings, okay? Right, what could you do though to help somebody else that is angry? So let's have a look at these four options. So what could you do to help somebody else? Could you shout at them, option one? Option two, listen to them and try and understand their feelings. Option three, be angry at them too. Option four, laugh at them. So what could you do when someone is angry to help them? Pause the video now, have a think. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, option two, you could listen to them and try and understand their feelings. So it wouldn't be any good shouting back at them, that wouldn't solve the situation or being angry at them too. And it wouldn't be very nice to laugh at them because that's not being understanding. So you could listen to the person and try and understand their feelings. That's something you could do if somebody's angry. Okay, so let's go back to our thermometer, our anger thermometer. And we're looking at how to deal with anger now. And the big yellow arrow is pointed all the way up to, this is the red zone here. So this is where if somebody is feeling very angry. And one of the options there is take a break. So remove yourself, take yourself out of the situation um, to try and make yourself feel a bit better. So we're going to focus on that area. Now, we're going to look at something called the cool down corner. And the cool down corner is somewhere where you can go when you are angry and it will be an area where you can go to calm yourself down. Okay, so in the cool down corner, you might want to have some calming pictures and colours. So some calm colours or colours that make you feel a bit calmer are greens or blues or yellows. Probably staying away from the reds because that's more of a, an alert colour or a, a colour of anger. So greens, blues and yellows are good colours to have in your cool down corner. And you're going to need somewhere to be able to sit or lay down. It might be a good idea to have a favourite teddy in that corner or possibly a favourite book. If one of the books that you've got at home is a book that makes you feel quite calm when you read it, then perhaps that would be a good idea to have that in your cool down corner. So here are some examples 
of some cool down corners. So the one on the left there, you've got a book that's there and it's a nice yellow table with a chair and there's some favorite teddies in there as well. So that looks like a nice area. And the one on the right, you've got a, a nice looking lamp with some bubbles in there. You've got some comfy cushions and some books as well. So that looks like a nice area. And again, a couple more examples. You've got very important that you have somewhere that you can lay or sit. And there's some um, favorite teddies and some books as well. But even if you've just got a chair, that's still an area that you might think you can go to safely to deal with your anger at that point. So if you, if you don't have lamps or if you don't have uh, the books or the teddies, then even if you've just got a chair, it's an area where you can go to where you feel you can deal with your anger at that time. Okay, so the task for you guys today is to design your own cool down corner. So we'll have a quick look at those pictures again in a moment, but you're gonna design your own cool down corner and you can draw it first. And then if you want to make it at home, then even better. And that would be an area that you can go to just to try and compose your feelings to think about your feelings and then hopefully calm down and let the anger move away. So let's have a look back at a couple of these examples. So thinking about the colours that you want to use, make sure it's nice and comfortable. You might have a book or a teddy and just an area that you can go to where you can deal with your anger and your, your feelings at that time. So your task, design your own cool down corner and if you could take a picture of it and send it to your teachers, please, it'd be great to see an area um, that you've designed. And even better, if you've actually made this cool down corner, um, it'd be good to see an area that you know you can go to when you feel a bit angry or a bit down or a bit upset. You can go there and you can just try and think about your feelings before you, you feel a bit better. Then you might want to go and talk to somebody about them or they could come into your cool down corner to, to speak to you. And hopefully this will start to make you feel a bit better and you can move back towards the happier faces that we saw near the start of the video. Okay, I wish you all well with this task and we can't wait to see some of your ideas. So good luck guys and we will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.